What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Come back and got something to talk about. What's going on everybody? How is your Saturday going? Mine is, well, I hope it's going to be going pretty good. Won't be doing much because we're on lockdown now, statewide. Okay, it really doesn't affect me at all. Let me explain. I am what they call essential employee. Now you might say, well, what does Patrick do that's so essential? Well, the company I work for, which is my wife's parents' company, they're in the commercial fire alarm low voltage um, business. So we fall under the umbrella of fire and life safety. Now, so you're probably thinking, well, well, if you're not putting new stuff in, what, why are you still going to, which we are still, the construction is still rolling, so we're still rolling. But even if they were to shut down construction, they would limit it down to um, schools that are being built uh, because they have to open at a certain time. And mostly any government business or government facility that might need to be completed at a certain time also when you go to the life safety part of it and the fire alarm part of it well that stuff has to continue to work you're regardless of what's going on if say you got a 10 story building with you know apartment building we have to keep that fire alarm working if not they go what's on called fire watch now what fire watch is is there is actually a person, depending on the size of the building, multiple people that are there 24 seven, walking around, making sure the place ain't on fire. That gets expensive quickly. So basically we have to keep the fire alarm systems working. Uh, there's been a couple cases since the tornadoes came through a few weeks ago where there was a couple of businesses that were on fire watch until we got their panel fixed. But, you know, we got it fixed within a day's time. So, I mean, we're talking they were probably on fire watch for maybe 24 hours at the most. <clears throat> so, you want know, to take another... Um, here's another thing that can call us out is nurse call system. Now, if anybody knows anything about nurse call systems, they have to work especially in these nursing homes and stuff uh, some of them have fall warning signals um, you know right down to uh, falling in the bathroom or can't get off the bathroom with the potty or you know something happens where they pull a pull cord and brings a nurse or a tech in so those have to work those have to work so we would have to go to the facility and get it back up and working so that's kind of where we fall. If they, even if they were to shut down new housing construction, or well, new building construction, because we don't do anything residential, we do all commercial. So if they were to shut down all, I guess what they would call um, personal business construction, the government and schools and stuff like that would stay ongoing and we would still be working regardless so i hope that explains that end of the essential employee now my son chase which has been on the channel before he now works for a machine shop now the machine shop he works for is actually a pretty good size one they do a lot for the military and medical fields they're considered essential because of what they do so he doesn't shut down either there are tiers to how things how that stuff works and if you're essential to the government working or if you're essential to um, medical then you continue to work so when you say everybody needs to stay home everybody needs to stay home you need to know what what is actually happening behind the scene and that is what's happening behind the scene where besides fire police and healthcare field 
there's some of us that have to work too because we are essential all right so that's all i wanted to put in this i was gonna i'll probably upload this on well saturday but that's how it goes and i know there's other fields out there that are in the same boat as us and if you are drop a line down below and let us know what you do and here's what i got to say thank you to all you essential workers that have to work regardless of what's going on you're the actual backbone of this country and we're what keeps the country actually moving not just the big pocketbooks up above us but the ones that are actually doing the work all right guys that's it for now be prepared and stay safe